Roman said you gotta go. You gotta go. He never saw me. Why? You gotta go. Fucking what are you doing? You play way too much. What are you doing? You broke my phone. Here, Jamie. Bye. He said go to the bus station. Here. He said go to the bus station. You gotta go. Welcome back to another story time for you guys. And in this video right here, we're going to be looking at the viral video that took over TikTok some time ago. Shout out to Pamela Baby. Make sure you guys go over there and subscribe to her channel. She was featured in a video that we did together. Uh, we talked about her nonprofit, as well as the incident that was going on in the video at the time there was a lot of speculations going on in that particular video we thought they was lovers we thought they was trainers when we first seen the video it popped up on instagram and blew up then it went over to tiktok and it blew up so at that time uh, I decided to make an episode out of it. I had a conversation with Pamela Baby, as well as a conversation with another female, a trainer that sort of had the same situation. So within those conversations, it was a lot of speculations going on uh, in that video because of course we did not have the full spectrum of the video again there was just a lot of inconsistencies and a lot of speculations again uh what was going on but as of late uh my comment session has been blowing up on both of the videos the one that i did with pamela and the one that i did with otr diva there's a lot of comments that are coming back to the forefront of those two particular videos so i want to give a shout out to pamela baby for actually getting in contact with one of the females in that particular video uh the female in question her name is shay if i'm pronouncing her name wrong i am so sorry but she is the one that was the aggressor i want to say um of course there's always two sides to every story and shay is here her and pamela baby had a conversation and in that conversation she is here to explain what really happened no more wasting time let's get it hold on Pam, yesterday she got back right back with me and we are just trying to put the whole story out there because only one side is being viewed and, and shown and people are forming opinions and making assumptions on something that they really don't know what was going on in the truck. And I mean, I hate that this has to come to this, but I just want my truth to be told. 
So long story short, um, that situation is three years old, okay? Um, I knew her from truck driving school. We started on the same day, finished the same day. Um, at the end of the day, once we finished truck driving school, you know, we had befriended each other <clears throat> in school on Facebook and didn't really communicate too much. Um, what ended up happening was she went her way, I went mine, you know. Um, you know, we would sometimes post and, and comment on each other's posts on Facebook. Okay. So she went out with her dude on the truck and he had been driving for some time or whatever. Anyway, she allowed him to do all of the skills. So they broke up and then she reached out to me at that point asking if I could uh, help her regain her skill sets by getting her a job at the company I was with at the time and um, putting her on the truck with me and showing her skills so she could have income for her kids which I'm all for, you know what I mean? Single mom, okay, cool, I got you, you know what I mean? Not a problem. So I ended up putting her on the truck, okay? Got her the, got her the job at my job at the time. And um, I don't know, for whatever reason, you know, things was cool at first. And then as time went on, things started, you know, getting, I don't know. But um, at the end of the day, uh, my life was being threatened okay she was doing illegal activities on the truck um smoking weed uh drinking liquor um canceling loads you know going behind my back because i was the one you know first seat whatever you want to call it first i was the first seat you know she couldn't do none of the back end or anything so i was handling all of that you know so she would go behind my back calling dispatch saying oh you know well we not taking that load and so they looking at me crazy you know she was trying to destroy me basically you know what i mean and um i don't know if she has any mental illness but in my opinion it was a whole narcissistic situation that i've never experienced in my life and i was i felt threatened and i felt very unsafe and i informed the company i wasn't being believed so i had to make video recordings so that people could truly understand what was really happening. You know what I mean? Because I'm I'm the bigger individual, so of course, you know, people are gonna look at me like the villain. However, people don't understand, people are out here sick in their heads playing mind games in these trucks at times with people. For whatever the reason may be, I have no idea. You know what I mean? Because I'm out here to make money, I'm out here to be safe, and I'm out here to provide a service for, for everybody. You know what I mean? So I, I take my career and my profession very seriously, you know? So when this when this bubbled up yesterday for me, I was just so thrilled. You know, I, I had a feeling it was gonna go viral at some point, but I just thought it was gonna happen three years ago. You know what I mean? But for whatever reason, here we are, you know? But again, I appreciate Pam because these types of situations need to be exposed. You know, we as truck drivers know how tight it is in these trucks and sharing this space with people and things can go left very quickly. You know what I mean? You don't know what type of pressure people are under. You don't know what they got going on at home. You don't know what they bringing back to the truck. You don't know nothing. You know what I mean? All you know is get get the load, get it there safe and back. That's, that's my goal, safety first. You know what I'm saying? So once I felt my life being threatened and things, you know, weren't going the way I thought that they were originally supposed to be going, it was time to, you know, cut, cut ties. You know what I'm saying? But again, it was it was a mind manipulation game being played on so many different levels. Like, I could go on and on about this, but I'm trying to keep it short and sweet because I just want my side of the truth to be told. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, you know, that video was out there, me, you know, about to snap on old girl and, and, and definitely was definitely about to go there, you know, before I started uh, truck driving, I was an amateur boxer. So, and she was aware of that. So I felt like she was provoking me to try to take me to a place where I was gonna lose everything. You know what I'm saying? She had lied to the company that we was working with at the time, saying that I had charges. All types of craziness was going on. You know what I mean? I don't have any charges. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm good. You know what I mean? But I don't know for whatever reason, I don't know if it was a jealousy thing, but there was absolutely no, nothing going on on that level, you know, with, with her and I. Um, again, I was I was definitely trying to just look out for someone I considered a friend at that time, you know what I mean, and help a, a single black mother out here regain her skill sets and be independent, you know. So the the way that I'm being shown, I, I just I just want to clear up, uh, you know, all the assumptions and comments that have been. Uh, 
put under the video of, of the viral video of the trainer <laughs> trainee situation big shout out to pam though man for real yo because she she trying to make things right you know what i'm saying so thank you pam y'all be blessed be safe and um just be careful out here man because you just never know you never know but i'm rolling solo dolo from here on out baby <laughs> i'm a holler though Shit, I'm a problem right now. Now I'm a motherfucking problem. Ain't nobody making no bread. Ain't no moves getting made. So I get happy again. Now. Walk on eggshells around me. Sick of this. Fuck out of here. Fuck everybody else. in the land of my fucking ancestors is a beautiful fucking day gorgeous it's not too hot it's cloudy it's partly cloudy the sun not scorching me i think it's a fucking great day it's a beautiful fucking day for anything to happen like
on some whole fuck shit and like now it's you know so now that the party's over it's some shit like oh let's mind fuck her into thinking that the whole thing was her shit and the, the mind fuck her out of here nah 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 Please, Lord, give her the tools that she needs to be healed. She needs healing. She needs love. She needs support. God, I just ask you, you wrap your arms around her and heal her. Whatever she she may need you for, Lord. I don't know the depths of this. I've never dealt with this. I don't I don't know this, Lord. I don't know this. Only you, God, only you, only you, Lord, can, can, can bring her from this. Only you. This is beyond my, my, my control. I cannot. I, I can't. This is your doings, Lord. Please. Please come down and heal her. My God. Jesus, please, please heal her. Lord Jesus come into this truck and, and, and get all the demons, demonic spirits, negative energies away from me this truck and out of her mind Lord please I ask you Lord protect us all see there's always two sides to every story <laughs> man man oh man but guys as you already know that at that particular time of the conversation between Pamela baby and Shay that was at three years ago so this is what about 2023 now so maybe a little bit more so the young lady that was going through it I don't know where she at I haven't got a hold of her uh neither has Pam and uh and yeah hopefully she's healed uh she's she's going through a lot <laughs> at that time she she was going through a lot that's scary that 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 is real scary and i i kind of feel like i don't blame shay for what she actually did i mean that girl had to go she had to go for real i mean i i couldn't have my life in that person's hands i don't know about you guys but i i wouldn't even let her drive the truck no nah, hey yo sister girl hey come on you hey i i got it i got it from here i'll yeah but i, I <laughs> yeah I, I, after seeing more of the situation because you know there's only bits and pieces and pieces and parts that people actually see to actually form an opinion based on what was what was there at the time here's the full spectrum of what was going on with them in the truck so again i want to say shout out to pamela baby for getting that conversation in with shay shout out to shay i'm glad she's in a better space you know I'm, I'm 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 glad that nothing happened to her physically and mentally and uh you know i i and as for the young lady that's that's going through it i i i pray that she's in a better space as well <laughs> 
Um, I'm hoping everybody in that story is good. And, uh, and yeah, um, this is something that people need to, you know, look at when they decide to team with people that they don't know. <laughs> You know, you you want to probably do a full background check on people when when you decide to team with them. You you gotta be FBI on their ass. I'm just saying. All right, guys, that's gonna do it. I really do appreciate you guys listening and watching. Again, shout out to Pamela Baby. Make sure you guys go over there and show her some love. Let her know that Lockout Men sent you if you guys have a story to tell and you want to tell it on the lockout men podcast show you can definitely do that hit me up in the gmail that's lockout men podcast guest at gmail.com until next time everybody y'all stay safe out there and make sure that you subscribe for more Introduce it, dark holiday from Tombstone. Step to the spot, make the whole room blow. That bed stop pulling coming from the Brookwood. Drop shit and still make it look good. I get that. Only way I know it's going.